Hello from Slovenia again. I will try marble technique again today, but today I will use just black, white and gold for my puddles. And I have to put my gloves on before I will forget. And I will start tilting again with without my gloves and then I have mess all around in my place. Okay. So and I will definitely use less paint that I did yesterday because um, it was just way too much paint. So I will just start with white and gold. And I have my paints a little thicker maybe even than yesterday. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking that I added to so much paint, I don't know was way too much and black and I don't mind about drips or something because I will let my marble play into the paint and it will And I will just spread this a little bit before I will put my marble in, just a little bit. Okay. And Let's go. I will go really slow this time.
almost look like a tiger pattern or something. I think that I'm done with the marble. And let's torch this a little bit because I see a lot of air bubbles. I don't know why I get so many air bubbles lately. Should have something to do with uh, air temperatures and everything because my pouring medium reacts a little differently. I'm thinking if I want to do a little more stripes. I'm just thinking what would happen if I throw my uh, marble in again and try to, to go just a little more around. Now when I already tilted it, I will just wipe it off and try. I just want to bring a little more black into this painting, but I don't know how. Let's see. Maybe a little more swirls around. So you can always go again. With the marble and kind of like maybe this really creates some cool lines now that it's dried more so uh, that then it's less less paint on the canvas so probably this is the case too so Just a little more here and I will be done. It's like a racking, you know? And I will probably do a ring pour too with this marble thing because I like these patterns that it creates. Okay. And now I'm really done. And now I will leave a little bit more just to 
you know that it will drip. I wish that I wouldn't have as much air bubbles. So Here is a close-up and I really, really like those lines. So definitely less paint. For this technique you shouldn't have too much paint and Definitely you can, you know, maybe I will just roll a little bit through here just to, or just use a skewer to just these two white things bothers me here. But otherwise I like those lines, I like how it looks. Maybe too much gold for me. <laughs> Uh, it will be quite gold. So I will just try to show you some some of my sides because they look really stunning. It's a, a glare from a window, so it's hard to show. Maybe on this side. I will say that I like it even though it's a lot of gold next time definitely if I would go with this uh, definitely I would use to less gold less less gold just here and there in between not as much but Oh, it kind of look, you know, like um, uh, tiger pattern, or how can I say so? It, I'm pretty sure that it will be quite striking when it will be dry. And maybe I should do just, I don't know, a few... Uh, puddles not as much. This would be my suggestion for the next time. Maybe just a lot of base coat and just a few puddles and play with this marble a little bit and it will not be too busy. So this is what I think that I could do differently for the next time. So this is it for today and see you on the next one. Bye!